Well, that ain't good. I go up to my computer to start doing some stuff, and I see this. A problem has been detected, and Windows has been shut down to prevent damage to your computer. IRQL not less or equal. What does that mean? This error means that something may be wrong with a device driver, your device's memory, or antivirus software on your device. Make sure that your drivers are current by checking for the latest Windows updates. Which, of course, this machine can't do because the updates are broken. Maybe I should just install something else. So, it looks like we got a first thing. We got a first thing. It sounds like the first thing we got to do is turn this thing off. Just completely turn it off. And turn it back on. And see what it does. I'm assuming it's just going to boot back up into Windows. Why is it? That's not the main monitor. Oh. Windows did not shut down successfully. Uh, hmm. Well, we'll just uh, start normally. And see what that does. Applying update operation. Okay, okay. Well, it looks like it's working fine. So, let's log in. Welcome. I mean, yeah, it's started up just fine. Oh. Windows has recovered from an unexpected shutdown. Problem event name. Blue screen. Oh, really? Hmm. OS version 6.1 Mini dump uh, hmm. Check for solution Is that gonna work checking for a solution? I don't know why I'm bothering it never does work and never does anything obviously. It's already crashed so doesn't really matter if it finds anything after the fact, unless that maybe keeps it from doing it again. Alright. How long is this going to take? Oh, and it went away. Okay then. So, this appears to not be working, because whenever I go to updates, it will not let me install updates. You can see, it's been showing these updates for a while now. If I click install... And of course this box always disappears for some reason. But see so he's creating a restore point. Seems to be working. It says updates were installed yesterday, but I haven't seen it install any new updates. But see, here's what it does. It'll install all the updates, and then the moment it's done, it'll say updates were not installed. So it'll like install all the updates. But at some point, it'll just break, like just randomly break for no apparent reason that makes any sense to me. It'll just break. And yes, this is Windows 7, in case you couldn't tell, because it, it, looks, it looks like Vista, but it's, it's not Vista. It is Windows 7. If I type Winver, you can see. See, the start menu's a little bit broken. See, it says Windows Vista Ultimate, but you can see it says... Windows 7 Professional, 2009, 7601.6.1, that's all Windows 7. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yep, so, installing kernel mode driver framework. Maybe this is what's breaking it, because it did mention something about drivers. Windows 7 for x64 based systems. But again, it'll. I've tried installing only because you, you saw there was eight updates there. I tried installing only one update that didn't work. I tried like just picking off each individual update, and I'm, I'm scratching my finger. Um, trying each individual update, it would all do the same thing. See, it looks like it's installing, but the moment it's done, it's gonna spit out an error message with a red, you know, X thing. It'll be like, hey these updates were not installed now it's taking longer than it usually is now it's just like it's hung up on this update so this doesn't usually happen 
be the Windows Update in the corner. Security Essentials is fine. I got Security Essentials, Glasswire, OneDrive, and then what's that? Hmm. Seat Cleaner, Samsung Magician. I have a Samsung SSD in here, which is running out of space. I need to get a bigger one. Here we go. Security monthly quality roll up 2020 01. So, should be basically the last major security thing because it already was almost all the way up to date as of 2020 when Windows 7 lost support. I know there's like that unofficial patches and stuff you can do, but this is just see, look, this is what it does. It also apparently just had a seizure. Look at this every single update failed. Encountered an unknown error, and it's spitting out all sorts of random errors. So, yeah, that's an, that's frustrating. And I don't feel like reinstalling this thing and, and dealing with everything all over again. So here's what I'm going to do. Move this S7. You know what I'm going to do? Let's see, where is... Ah, here it is. I'm just going to install this. I'm just going to upgrade this. and see if that works. Maybe I should try upgrading to a different version of Windows 7 maybe? Because this is Windows 7 Pro. Maybe I should upgrade to Windows 7 Ultimate or something and see if that makes a difference. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, look at this. Cleaning can save a gig of disk space. Let's do that. Why not? Oh, and installed some updates. Okay. Next. Of course, if you're installing Windows 8 on top of Windows 7, if you have the Microsoft Security Essentials antivirus, you have to remove it since it's built into Windows 8 and it's not smart enough to just migrate the stuff over. So you, like, then again, I guess what would be migrated, whatever. It's not smart enough to remove it itself, or I guess probably because it doesn't want to risk removing something it doesn't, uh, it isn't supposed to. So that's why it has you do it. So now we should be good to pop in Windows 8. So this little install is asking me to get the latest. These updates will help make the installation smoother. Yeah, I normally don't do this, but since this is an actual computer that I use, we might as well. Just to make sure it's all up to date and nice. Oh god, now we have this. Ugh, one sec. So, it says right here that my product key does work. So I did put it in an actual product key. From an actual Windows 8 Pro. You can see Windows 8 Pro, and I accept these license terms. Accept. I want to keep all of this. Now, I was considering upgrading from Windows 7 to 8.1, obviously, because 8.1 is more up to date than 8 and still gets security updates, unlike Windows 8. But Windows 8, I can actually move this stuff. I don't know if it's the version of 8.1 that I have that's just broken, but I tried to do it from Windows 7 and it just didn't work. So now that I did it with Windows 8, I can keep Windows settings, personal files, and apps instead of just personal files or nothing. So we will do this. Make sure that I'm ready to install. So it wanted me to restart my computer, but the one thing that was nice is it was actually smart enough to know that I was in the middle of an install, and whenever I opened it up again, it said continue from where I left off or start over, so I obviously continued where I left off, so I didn't have to put in the key and select all the settings and stuff again, so that's nice. Ready to install. You won't be able to use your PC while Windows installs. Save and close your files before you begin. The Senate will... Ah, not the Senate. Ugh. So... It will uh, keep Windows settings, personal files, and apps, and install Windows 8 Pro. I don't have anything open, do I? Nope. So I should just install, and hopefully it doesn't screw up and erase everything. If it does, it's not too big of a deal, because the only thing that's on here is just backups of files and stuff. So uh, I have backups of my backups, if that makes sense. So let's install. 
And there we go, installing Windows 8, and this monitor is still working, huh? It's interesting. Okay. So now it says your PC will restart in a few moments. Last time I checked it, it was at 80%, so it appears to be pretty much done. So it looks like it's about to restart. We'll see when it does. Is it gonna? Hmm. Oh, so it just popped up a thing that said preparing, and it just went away. So it went too quickly for me to catch it. Now my camera's all blurry, probably because of the lack of light. Oh, look at that. It's doing stuff. Okay, so it looks like it's done now. So uh, it popped me up at the personalization screen, and beyond that, it appears to have picked up everything that I pinned to my Windows 7 start menu. Oh, uh, that doesn't look right. Okay, I think that's that's supposed to be. Oh, are my monitors on the wrong side? They are. Look at that. <laughs> Those are on the wrong side. Hmm. Yeah, that could be a problem. So it kind of did that weird stuff. Let me screen resolution. Okay, that's supposed to be like up here, first off. And then, will that fix the icons? Still didn't exactly fix the icons. But, yeah, it's working. So there we go. And we can move all these just over here to the correct side, and it's one column down for some reason. We'll just uh, put that there. And there's a spot right there, too, so I guess we'll just put that there. That works. Now it's working. So, it's working. Let's see, PC info. Yep, it's working. For some reason, Windows isn't activated. But yeah, Windows 8 Pro. So, so far a success, I would say. Did it save my little Vista themes? Yeah, it did. Look at that translated decently well. Obviously the custom theme is gone, but I expected that. Hmm. Sometimes it does the please wait and sometimes it doesn't. Vista 3. Oh, I see. So this is blue. Oh, that works. All right. Seems to be running faster, strangely enough. Hmm. Well, that's it, Windows 8. So can I get the updates? Will that work? Oh, it saved my toolbars as well. Look at that. So that works. Close, control panel, System, Windows Update, will it check for updates, see how well that works. But so far it is working, just the um, main reason I did this is because of the updates in the blue screen, so we'll see if it fixes that, but obviously can't test none of that on video, but yeah. So that's upgrading this PC to Windows 8. Is everything in the taskbar? Yep. Yeah. It's all there. Where's uh, Windows Defender? Let's see. Should be somewhere, because obviously it has Windows Defender now instead of Security Essentials. Defender, here we go. Yep. It's on and monitoring. Definitions need to be updated. Created 3,000 days ago. Ooh, that's a bit out of date. But whatever, it's working.
I'll update that later. Let's check for updates. So yeah, that's Windows 8. I'm assuming the Microsoft Store doesn't work anymore, right? Yeah, it's broken. I f yeah, they uh, shut off the store for Windows 8, so you have to upgrade to 8.1 if you want the store to work. And honestly, the store is a barren wasteland on Windows 8.1. My, my Surface tablet has nothing that's really usable on it other than Netflix, so yeah, if you want to use the store, you really got to use Windows 10, so, oh, come on, can't search for updates, oh well, I'll see if I can't fix that, anyways, this is Intel, oh, oh, come on, does anyone know how to fix this stupid thing, anyways, this is Intel Tech Studio signing out, and that was a video, peace. Is it touch screen now? I don't think it is. Nope, still not touch screen. Oh well.